This is Francisco de la Vega, the Chief Scientific Officer of Fabric Genomics. I'm representing a team from Fabric, the University of Utah, and Ready Children's Institute of Genomic Medicine to talk about our new AI method for fast diagnosis of rare genetic disease. Rare genetic disease affects 7 million births per year, adding up to 6% of the global population or about 400 million people around the world. Yet, it has been estimated that only about 30% of these patients have access to a diagnosis that could improve their management. Nevertheless, the advent of high throughput sequencing and exome and genome sequencing has driven a dramatic pace of discovery of genes associated with Mendelian conditions, currently counting about 6,000, but is expected to reach 10,000 soon enough. The use of gen genome sequencing has thus become the standard for the diagnostic of rare genetic disease. In just one decade, diagnostic rates jumped from about 10% when single gene Sanger sequencing or small panel NGS sequencing was the norm to about 50% nowadays through whole genome sequencing of patients and their parents. These improvements have been driven by the drop in the cost of genome sequencing, which although stagnated for a few years, is starting to come down again. This predicts a significant expansion in exome or genome sequencing for diagnosis from about 30,000 in 2017 to over 30 million in 2030, a thousandfold increase. The problem now is that while advances in sequencing and computation have automated most steps of the genome analysis workflow, the crucial step of evaluating candidate disease variants continues to be manual. This step is becoming the major effort and cost driver of the process and is typically carried out by experienced clinical geneticists who need to leverage multiple genomic annotations, computational predictions, and prior clinical knowledge. Each assessment can take anything from 10 to 45 minutes and must be often repeated for hundreds of candidates, which can lead to cognitive overload and errors. Further, the pool of specialized clinical geneticists that can perform this task is quite small, limiting scalability to the volumes needed for the upcoming clinical needs. The strategies to simplify genome interpretation have evolved over the years. The first successful exome-based Mendelian diagnosis in 2009 utilized a filtering strategy to reduce the number of variants in consideration from hundreds of thousands to hundreds, eliminating non-viable candidates such as common variants and non-coding variants, but also creating the potential for false negatives by aggressively filtering. Reviewers typically will need to examine hundreds of candidate variants taking days. A few years later, algorithmic methods for variant prioritization appear, focusing on optimizing the review by placing ahead variants more likely to be involved in the disease of the patient. The first of such methods was VAS, which integrates variant deleteriousness and gene burden under different modes of inheritance into a probabilistic score. Later, in 2014, patient phenotypes expressed in the human phenotype ontology were leveraged by algorithms such as FIBER which use Bayesian networks to mine biomedical phenotype and functional ontologies to improve prioritization. These result in less than 100 candidates per analysis, reducing the review time to hours instead of days. And while this was a significant improvement, these methods will still miss a good fraction of disease genes and thus were commonly used in parallel to filtering approaches instead of completely replacing them. Here, I'm introducing a new paradigm which I call diagnostic nomination. The aim here is to provide a true decision support system that can largely replace filtering by shifting the attention from variants into genes and candidate diagnostic condition, which is the ultimate goal of genome interpretation. This new artificial intelligence method that we call GEM combines the results of vast and fever algorithms with clinical knowledge from databases such as ClinVar and OMIN. These inputs are integrated into a Bayesian network that selects the best parameters and summarizes the likelihood of a gene to be disease causing using a base factor, and finally nominates a short list of candidate diagnoses. Furthermore, GEM also deals automatically with common complexities and confounders, such as identifying the mode of inheritance, finding compound heterozygous, considering consanguinity and patient ancestry, and variant called artifacts that are common for short read sequencing technology. To benchmark GEM, we collaborated with Rady Children's Institute for Genomic Medicine in a retrospective study including a diverse set of 120 previously diagnosed rapid whole genome cases from seriously ill children in the Rady Children's Hospital NICU. 
This included individual patients and trios and diverse types of causative variants and modes of inheritance. To compare with previous methods, in this figure I show the rank of true positives in the list of candidates offered by each method, and in the y-axis the cumulative propor proportion of true positives. GEM shows a five-fold better ranking as compared to BAS and FEVER, with 90% of the cases presenting the true positive as the top candidate and 98% of the cases within the top five candidates. Notably, whereas the prioritization methods present a bottom end list of candidates, the mean number of candidates nominated by GEM per case is less than two. Furthermore, GEM nominates candidate causative genes ranked by base factor, but also scores the diagnostic conditions associated with each candidate gene, often multiple, to nominate potential diagnosis for the patients. These nominations considers the match of the patient phenotypes to the conditions phenotype profile, considering the variance. The results are presented in a clean, simplified user interface, showing the most important information and the contributing factors and scores, like in this case the bars, for quick clinical decision making. Finally, GEM can jointly evaluate small sequence variants together with structural and copy number variants, which could account for as much as 10% of the diagnostic yield, nominating candidate structural variants by scoring the genes harbored therein. In summary, GEM is an AI-driven clinical decision support system for fast diagnostics of Mendelian conditions from genome data and patient phenotypes. GEM nominates candidate diagnosis, providing clinicians a short list of gene conditions for consideration, with features justifying the selections for an explainable AI. GEM automatically deals with common complexities and confounders to simplify use, can increase diagnostic rate scoring all types of variants jointly, and enables scaling up genome diagnosis and cost-effective reanalysis as knowledge evolves, substantially reducing interpretation efforts and turnaround time. We believe GEM can allow broader access to diagnosis for patients of rare genetic diseases, including those in need of urgent care. Finally, I want to acknowledge our team and collaborators and thank you for listening.